Shalom, 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 shalom. My name is Apostle Chanduko. Today I want us to continue with that habit. Last week I was talking about eight habits. Hallelujah. Today I want us to talk about the second habit, habit number two, which is prayer. Hallelujah. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6 verse 18. Hallelujah. Today, I want us to read Romans 12 verse 12. One of the Pauline letters. The letters written by Paul to the Romans. Romans 12 verse 12. It reads as follows. Rejoicing in hope. Patient in tribulation, continue instant in prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer is one of the eight habits that activate Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Last we were talking about faith. Hallelujah. The first habit is faith. Hallelujah. Second habit is prayer. Prayer in the Hebrew Bible, in an evolving means of interacting with God. Hallelujah. That act of praying is a method of changing a situation for the better. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From where I have read in the book of Paul, it says, pray instantly, hallelujah, continuously, without ceasing, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord will rest in you, as it is written in the book of Isaiah, hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord will remain in the rod out of the stem of Jesse. Hallelujah. The rod out of the stem of Jesse is Jesus Christ. And we call ourselves the Christian. That simple means the spirit of the Lord will rest in us. Hallelujah. But this spirit needs to be activated. Hallelujah. Prayer is one of the habits that activate Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Prayer is an act of communication by humans with the Holy, Holy God, hallelujah, or supernatural power, hallelujah. Prayer is opportunity to spend time with God. Voneba kono uamba na mzimu, wa communicate na mzimu, nga katabero, ndichone chipinga, choriva pate vukonani, vukati havone na mzimu. Nga tabero, tabero ndiyone neto rumu ya mketwa, ukono awera, ukono zura kavone, ufe wabopolowa, hallelujah. Hafi chiducho awera ndu richo wabopolowa, auna matada, hallelujah. Musibone wachi zura weka tabero, muya mketwa uzura ukavu, hallelujah. Prayer, hallelujah. To really understand the heart of God, you need to pray, hallelujah. Talking with God develops a deeper relationship with Him. Hallelujah. Zipata wukona ni wukati avone na muzimu. Musibone bachiko rabbeira. Hallelujah. We can use prayer as a way of opening our hearts to God. Hallelujah. Prayer activates Holy Ghost. You must pray instantly. You must pray without ceasing so that the Holy Spirit will rest upon you, will rest in you. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit will remain. Hallelujah. As it is written in the book of John 1, verse 33. Hallelujah. John the Baptist says, The Spirit descend and dwell in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Descend and remaining. Hallelujah. If you want the Spirit of God to rest in you, to feel free in you, you must be prayerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
prayer is one of the habits that activate Holy Spirit. My name is Apostle Chanduko, Hakodesh Paruk Hu, Holy One, blessed be He. Shalom.